Hi guys, Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and comparison of the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. These are really, really similar. Sorry, there's a plane going past. So these have really, really similar claims and they look similar on the skin. And I thought maybe this one is a dupe of this one. I do have a sample size in the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but I think I will get the full size at some point. So I'm going to read off the claims. Both of them have different like price points. One's obviously high end, one's more like mid range, I would say. So I'm going to read um, the Charlotte Tilbury claim first. That's the website. So literally it says beautiful skin foundation and it does come in let me see how many shades so 30 shades it comes in 30 shades with all different um, tones from neutral warm and cool and from very light the really skin tone so it's perfect it's a really good shade range so it says my buildable medium coverage hydrating foundation for a beautiful healthy looking glow for like it just says the shade name so i'll go on the six cool one i have not for neutral. I'll see if I can find it. Yep, got it there. So six cool is perfect for fur to medium skin with a cool pink undertone. A cool undertone means you have pink, red, or blue undertone, and you burn easily in the sun. I'm gonna go into more information. So product details. Darling, my beautiful skin foundation gives everyone skin that looks beautifully hydrated, plumper, smoother and brighter. This medium coverage hydrating foundation that has been expertly formulated with skincare ingredients to combine instant glow and buildable coverage with long term skincare benefits. With brightening rose complex and hydrating hyaluronic acid to improve the look of skin with each wear. My beautiful skin foundation is the secret to your best healthy looking skin day every day. Six Cool is a perfect shade for you if you have fur medium skin with pink undertone. So discover this clinically proven results. Beautifully radiant by 285%. Beautifully hydrated by up to 166%. Skin looks beautifully plumper and smoother up to 181%. Skin tone appears more even up to 210%. Over 90% degree, beautiful skin foundation improves the appearance of skin with each wear. Over 90% agree, beautiful skin foundation helps to minimize the appearance of pores, pigmentation and dark spots. So, um, yeah, I would say definitely this foundation does have really good claims and it does look amazing on the skin i'll have a look more now it does look like my skin is naturally like really really good it looks like it has an improvement to my skin it looks like my skin just looks naturally beautiful flawless radiant looking that foundation is amazing and i do agree with the claims and i think if i did buy the full size and i wore it every day i definitely could see if i did have that so if I did buy the full size and I wore it every day, I definitely could see my skin really getting more hydrated and plumper and younger looking and I do agree that would do that. So I'm on to the Be Perfect website now, which looks like that. So it just says Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation. So the Charlotte Tilbury one is, I forgot to say the price of that. It is um, £39. The be Perfect one's $29.95, no, the Be Perfect one is £21.95, so there is a good difference in the price. Obviously, the Be Perfect one is more affordable. I'm going to read the claims of that now. So it says, introducing the latest addition to our viral foundation range, Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation, a filter effect foundation with buildable coverage and luminous finish, available in 36 shades. So it has slightly better shade range than Charlotte Tilbury. 
with skin optimizing ingredients hyaluronic acid rosehip oil and vitamin e perfectly paired with our chroma conceal liquid concealer dermatologically tested please refer to our foundation please refer to foundation for your best shade just basically tells you how to get your shade so literally um i will read off like what my um shade is so let me see so n5 is a medium neutral golden tan shade which is perfect for my fake tan so from what i can read on both um foundations both of them have hyaluronic acid both of them have like a rose hip seed oil in them so they are really really similar made and i would say that the be perfect does have more of a filter finish on the skin sorry i play this going past every time i try to film a video so definitely they are made similar i would say this is a filter finish i can tell from this side of my face it does look like i have a filter on my face and then obviously this holds you which one's which this one's be perfect but the charlotte tilbury one definitely has more that skin like look even though it looks flawless it still looks flawless but it has more like a skin like appearance so they do differ slightly this one's more skin like this one is more like flawless filter and um both of them have like similar ingredients similar finishes similar coverage i love them like off the bat both of them are amazing so i'm gonna get into the demo right now okay so i'm gonna start out by priming my skin with my elf putty primer plus vitamin c i love this primer i just thought like a nice smoothing primer with a little bit of glow is the best thing before I do these like foundation comparisons so if you're wondering what that is on my wrist it is a rash from my watch it's so annoying i don't know why it happens every time i wear my watch for long periods of time like for days on end oh it's got a bloody rash and i hate it so yeah enough about that rash i'm just going to apply this primer onto my face literally onto every area that i need smoothing all over my face like that apply to be fair but it's really good for like smoothing my skin learn out any wrinkles any lines any pores this primer is like amazing underneath the eyes to kind of smooth out any kind of fine lines i am going to just push my hair back even more because some baby hair has got through there it got escaped or whatever but yeah that's the primer on i love the finish it isn't too glowy it's like a nice lift within glow so yeah so i'm going to just grab the foundations um the charlotte tilbury one i have only a sample size because i haven't got the full size yet but i probably will at some point so that's like the sample of it and for the be perfect chroma cover i've got the shade n5 i don't know where it says i think at the bottom n5 this one i've got six cool in the charlotte tilbury beauty beautiful skin foundation so i think what i'm gonna do is do the left side like my left your right with the charlotte tilbury me and my right your left with the be perfect i am going to use my real techniques miracle complexion sponge what i am going to do is i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury one on the flat side and then the be perfect one on the round side just to not get any foundation mixed up i know i could have gone another sponge but i don't want to waste another sponge i'm a bit lazy that way so we're going to do it like that so i'm gonna grab the sample of this charlotte tilbury one and i'm gonna have to scoop it out with my nails i actually got my nails on the other day and um yeah i love them but it's gonna be hard trying to get into cream products with like nails on but i think i'll just do about that much i think i've got a good amount maybe a little bit more just and then on the nose there trying desperately not to spill this on my leggings because i have black leggings on and i not want any um foundation over them no way <laughs> so i'm going to use my mirror instead of using my viewfinder and then using the flat side i'm going to just pat it into the skin
don't think I have enough on so I'm going to just do a little dab more around that area here but let me see yeah right because I'm going to use like a full pump I think or half pump on the be perfect side so I want to try to give it as even as a coverage as I can so that's last side blend in i love the finish how glowy it is it looks so beautiful luminous like you've had like a really lovely hydration facial and your skin looks perfect it does still look skin like it is like a medium to full coverage i would say one layer is definitely medium because you'll see some skin showing through and it just looks beautiful like it looks like you have naturally really flawless skin i absolutely love it so on to the be perfect side i'm going to take about half a pump i'm gonna say yeah i think that's about half a pump i'm gonna use my fingers to pat that in and then i might need more actually because that doesn't seem enough compared to what i've done with the charlotte tilbury so i'm gonna just grab a little bit more so it's basically a full pump but i'm just literally then quite a lot taking my beauty blender just this side of it which is well loved and prefer that side to be fair so i'm going to literally just pat that in i near shit myself there because i thought my camera wasn't recording but it was Burn them lines down. Taking whatever I have left. Okay. So this side has like a similar type of finish, I would say. Definitely a similar finish. Like the glow. You can definitely tell the two different undertones. Like this one is definitely cool tone. This one's like a nice neutral color. I prefer this undertone on me to be fur. This undertone is like a nice olivey color and it matches my fake tan really, really nicely. This undertone isn't too bad, but I prefer like a nice neutral or a warm, not a cool, but I got matched with like the girl who works at Charlotte Tilbury and she matched me to six cool. So we were pretty much the same type of level of foundation. Like there's no different in the depth, but the undertone is definitely different. But yeah, what I can tell, this side, um, the, the Be Perfect side, and I'm not sure if it does have a hint more coverage or about the same. Let me see. Um, it's hard to really tell. I think it has a hint more coverage to be fair. The, this side definitely has a hint. I've said it's more medium to full, but they're similar levels of coverage, I would say. This one just looks more makeup y. That one looks like you have like just natural good skin i am going to do one more layer and come back well yeah i'm gonna like do one layer on camera and then tell you my final thoughts so i'm just gonna scrape out more of this charlotte tilbury foundation i don't want to do too much i'm going to do like a light layer of each because i want to kind of save this foundation i might get another sample of it and just not let on it wasn't the right, right shade for me or it wasn't the right shade for me but hey ho um so that's like one layer okay so definitely this one does feel lovely it does give me more that full coverage look more medium to full i would say yeah i would say it's like full coverage but it still looks really natural looking with two layers i absolutely love that foundation like the glow is like proper and nice i think i don't know whether that one's glowier than the be perfect one but um i'll see what it's like with like a layer of this one but i absolutely love like how buildable this is i'm sorry about um the motorbikes and all due to the a built up barrier so i can't really help that really so i'm just gonna take like a wee 
actually like like almost a pump so i'm just taking my a perfect one that i do like a almost a full pump not like quite a full pump just to kind of make it fur so um yeah i'm gonna just take the this side and bend that out Okay, so that's what the second layer of the Be Perfect one looks like. Um, they definitely look really, really similar, I would say. Like, the glow is really, like, similar. If I would say one was glorier, I would say the Chartalby one's a touch more glory, but not by much. And if I would say one has a bit more fuller coverage, I would say slightly a touch of the Be Perfect one. But literally, like, they're so similar. Like, if I had the like, right shade in the Charlotte Tilbury one, if I got like six neutral, it would be literally spot on, almost like spot on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you close up what it looks like and you can decide yourself. Charlotte Tilbury. Be perfect. What do you think's better? It's hard to really say. I would say Charlotte Tilbury's more like skin-like and then Be Perfect's more like a slightly more made up look, but both of them are like really, really similar. I'm going to come back after i've done my concealer and powder and i'll tell you what i think my kind of final thoughts on what to look like well not my final thoughts my thoughts on what to look like with like the powder and concealer and whatnot on but yeah i'll do it that now okay so i've got my concealer my cream bronzer and my powder on i will show you what i used so I just used my Maybelline Neutralizer Eraser Concealer. I used my um, my Perfect Color Concealer by Primark in the shade Sand. My son's downstairs playing, by the way, I hear screaming. And then I used, for my cream bronzer, I used this Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade, I think. This is Macchiato. I haven't used it in a while and it just busted it out today and I love it. My eye base, I use my P. Louise eye base in the shade Remover 0.3. I love this stuff. And then for powder, I did use my W7 Banana Dreams powder. Love this stuff as well. Absolutely love it. So the whole makeup looks amazing. I love how glowy, even with the powder. Like I said in previous videos, the banana powder doesn't take away like the glow as much, which is amazing. And um, I just love how like both of them look amazing. The banana powder kind of corrected like the tones a little bit so they look more similar but you can still tell a bit that they're slightly different foundations like this one more this one looks more cool as hard to tell but this one looks more kind of like neutral to warm but um yeah i just love the finish i would say Charlotte Tilbury shows the glow a bit more i would actually it's hard to really say maybe a little bit more i would say Charlotte Tilbury shows the glow more with powder over top or like this one looks more airbrushed, so the look similar with the powder, which is amazing. The powder just makes it look more airbrushed, and I absolutely love that. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and I'll come back and tell you my final thoughts on these two foundations and which ones I think are the best, which one is better. So yeah, I'll come back and do that. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my full face on. I'm like proper full glam with my coral red lips with my white and brown smoky eyes like a proper like well i am like that on sundays anyway when i do film or i have a family day i do put loads of makeup on but yeah i'm actually day and what i normally am but <laughs> um so the concealers not concealers so the foundations i'm gonna have a look at them now both of them look absolutely amazing like the beauty perfect one looks like i love like how the undertone matches my fake tan perfectly. The Shara Tilbury one looks really, really skin-like but still flawless. Like I love how kind of natural looking that is and also the glow to it. So just looking at them side by side, I think definitely it would be better if I had the Shara Tilbury one in a neutral shade, not a cool shade, but even the cool shade looks really, really nice and flawless, but obviously like skin-like looking. So, um, just trying to see which one has a better glow. I'll say you can see the Charlotte Tilbury one slightly more on the glow, but it looks really, really matched. They're both so, so similar. Like, 
it's hard to pick a favorite but um right now looking at it i would say my favorite would be be perfect because of the undertone and like that slightly airbrushed look but if i had my red shade in the shower tub i would say it would be like a strong competitor even though what it is now but i would say if i had the right undertone it would be like a match probably to be for like a proper like i wouldn't be able to pick but judging on how they look on the skin it is so so close but i would say like because of the undertone i prefer be perfect one so would i say which foundations for you i would say if you're looking for more of an airbrush finish but you still like a glow you like more of a medium to more full coverage foundation i would say go for the be perfect one but if you like a really nice skin like foundation that looks natural looking but it is still medium to slightly full i would say go for the shower tilbury one it is nice and buildable too so if you are on more of a budget go for the be perfect but if you can stretch the charlotte tilbury one you like a more luxurious foundation i would say go for the charlotte tilbury one i'm not sure if the be perfect foundation is available in america but if you can't get it there then go for Charlotte Tilbury and that goes for any of them like if you can't get this one in your country we can get this one go for that one but if you can't get this one in your country we can get this one go for this one but both of them are really really similar like they're spot on they're like duped I would say this one is duped for this one a bit more coverage in this one like a hair more coverage a hair more airbrush looking this one still has a good coverage but it's slightly more natural more skin like both have comparable glowiness like the glowiness pretty much is spot on similar i would say this one's more skin like glowiness this one's more like makeup glowiness but they're pretty much similar like there's no really difference in them like they just look really really similar on my skin i'll come up close like you can really tell like which one's which it's really hard to say but um yeah you can definitely tell this one has a better match to my skin than this one but yeah i love the way like the look beautiful okay so it's nearly five o'clock and i've had this foundation both of these on for i would say a good three hours and i can tell this one has like the concealer hasn't blended in really well with this this one the side doesn't look as good as this side i think the be perfect side is looking more flawless on my skin and um like the foundation has like not furred so well in the lines whereas this side maybe that's because my lines look better on this side but this side so the planes going past is a lot more flawless that's really distracting and like why did it go like that it wasn't like that at the start maybe it oxidized but um yeah that just looks really distracting <laughs> um I am preferring this side. Obviously, it's worn off a little bit around right my nose, but most foundation through that because my nose runs like a water tap and I hate it. But um, yeah, they both look decently good, I would say. But I am preferring the Be Perfect Be Fur, like, definitely. But they both look, I love the glow. The glows came out more, that's a thing. As you work, the glow does come out more. But yeah, and underneath the eyes, like, it does look nice and flawless i obviously need to do a little bit of touch up because my eyes have been modern too but yeah um i do like both of them but i think i'm preferring this side more to be fair especially because it's a better color match but i wish i blend that out a bit more but i thought i did but obviously not our left is oxidized this looks like a stripe but maybe that concealer doesn't go well for the char tilbury foundation it just looks like a big stripe in my face it's so distracting I don't know why I've done that, it's crazy. But yeah, um so far decent. Okay, so that's the end of the video and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous, God bless, bye.